record. Uh, all council present, Mr. Tuesday is present. Uh, the jury is not. I'm sorry to interrupt again. They, uh, more of them had to use the restroom again. But they just handed Mr. Riles a note signed by Ms. Aranda. It says, once we are finished hearing the cross-examination for Bennett, we are ready for our final deliberation. We plan on having our decision today. Thank you. That's worth it. Okay, I'm, uh, we're going to finish this. Okay, thank you all for bearing with us. You go ahead and have a seat. We're going to uh, complete uh, Dr. Bennett's testimony on the, on the uh, speaker system here. That's what I call it. Uh, I, I'm told it takes it, it'll last about another half hour, and you all can continue your deliberations. Uh, give us a second. Exhibit uh, 17, and this is going to be now identified as a, a vantage point looking north on Naylor down towards Sergeant Rouse's car. Whose car is this? That's my car. Okay. And again, I know we're obviously, given what we've seen in the diagram and where we know the shell casings are, the vantage point that we have in this photograph puts you closer to your vehicle or where the defendant's car was, correct? But the, it, would this essentially be a fairly accurate representation of what kind of vantage point you would have in relationship to the events you've testified to? Yes, sir. Okay. States Exhibit 20. Now, this has been identified as Sergeant Morales' car. And what I'd like you to do is to tell as best you can now the ladies and gentlemen of the jury where he was when you first saw him firing towards Sergeant Morales' car. The first time you saw him when you're coming up north on Naylor, where is the defendant standing as best you can recall? Okay, so for the record you're kind of indicating 
and where the area where the door opens right at the, the door. I guess this is not this is not the door jam, is it, or is I don't is this the door jam? What the outside of the door? Yeah. Okay. And where would his hand be with respect to the firearm in relationship to that door? Inside, outside. His hand. His hand would have been more to the inside of the door. Okay. Now. How do you have a recollection of how many shots the defendant fired when you could see him? I know you indicated you think you heard some shots. Do you have any recollection of how many shots the defendant fired into the interior of that car when you could see him? I thought he fired five or six rounds. And did you see any, were they all consistent shots, or were there gaps in between shots, if you recall? No, it was a, it was a rapid succession. Okay. Now, the defendant turns and begins to head back towards his car where he sees you. Where in this photograph, to the extent you can do it, would you estimate it was that he was at when he identified you coming up the road? He would have been... He would have already been past Sergeant Morales' car. Okay. And made it about to the rear where my car is in that general area. And and that's when he turned and engaged you? Yes. Okay. Did it appear to be purposeful actions on his part? Yes, it was. Okay. Tactical, if you will, in nature? Yes. And as you're firing down on him, he's not just standing there like a statue, right? No, he's not. He's moving and trying to acquire you. That's your testimony? Yes. All right, I want to show you stage exhibit seven, which is in evidence. This has been identified now as the vehicle which the defendant was uh, apprehended on February 28th. Do you recognize that car? Yes. Okay. And how do you recognize that car? I just remember it being a red sedan type vehicle. Okay. Does that look like the car that the defendant entered when he fled the scene of Sergeant Morales' killing? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and take your seat. Okay. <coughs> Exhibit 24. 
we're going to have to open this. And not only is the firearm issued, but do you also utilize um, ammunition that is provided by your agency? Yes, we do. And is that because you have to? That's pursuant to policy? Yes. What kind of firearm did you carry with you on February 28, 2013? A Glock, a Glock 21, which is a uh, 40, 45 caliber gun. And I just want to show you what's in stage exhibit 24. When the lieutenant arrived on scene, Lieutenant Dietrich, at some point in time, did you turn your firearm over when you advised him that you had shot? I, I, I did turn my firearm over. Okay. Is that standard procedure any time there's a law enforcement involved shooting? Yes, it is. And again, I show you stage 24. Do you recognize this? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, is this your firearm? Yes, it is. Okay. And you said it's a 45 caliber. Is that correct? That is correct. And... How many rounds do you load this weapon with at the beginning of every shift? 14 rounds. Okay. How many rounds go in the magazine? There are 13 rounds in the magazine, and you put one in the chamber. Okay. For a total of 14 rounds? That is correct. And the bullets that are contained within uh, this exhibit, are these the bullets that you are also required to uh, utilize on duty with the sheriff's office? <laughs> yes. I think they've been described as like spear bonded bullets or something like that. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. When you are at this time, we'd offer an evidence stage exhibit 24. Objection. Report to hire from the defense. Okay. That objection be admitted to stage 24 in evidence. With respect to your firearms. Respect uh, all. I'm sorry. Let me I'm make sure. sure. Let me make sure we mark the card there so okay. don't lose track of it. This is the firearm that you would have returned fire on the defendant with on the 28th, as we just testified to, correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay. And again, on that day when you, you went on duty, how many rounds was this firearm um, loaded with? It was loaded with 14 rounds. You go down to Ken Lawrence. 
and to reach the corner of Maryland King Hall, right? That is correct. Now, Um, you had your lights and siren activated at that point. Yes, I did. You reached the corner of now and can on. And you heard what you thought were five gunshots? Uh, maybe a few rounds. I don't I didn't have a precise number. Maybe. In front of you, at this point, you see someone running toward the car. Yes. And You are just on the nail at this point. Do you agree? Yes, yes, I was. No. running up a third of the car, you don't see a gun yet. At that point, no, I don't. I didn't see the gun. Posting your closest to throw them out of the car, and then you see the gun and extend it on. Yes. Okay. You've already told us that you saw the shots fired inside the doorway. Yes. I know this is difficult for you. I'm seeing because. I can't allow my emotions to get the better part of me in order for me to effectively do my job. So at that point, I'm really just processing everything that I'm seeing to be able to so, understand what I need to do. Go ahead. No. So you're telling me at that point you don't have any emotion at all? I, like I said, I, I, I was processing it. I had no, I had no anger. I had no. I wasn't upset because I'm still trying to, at that point, I'm still processing what I'm seeing because I can't believe what I'm seeing. So I, I didn't really have an emotion to put on it because at that point, I, I still have a job to do and I don't know everything that's going on at this point. And I'm trying to, I, I, know, what I'm, I know what I'm seeing, but at the same token, I, I have to, 
do my job so that I could resolve the issue. Okay. Fair enough. And at this point, you're a backup, right? That is correct. And at this point, because of what you do, part of your job is to try and protect Dr. Morales. Would you agree? And the citizens as well, but also Sergeant Morales, of course. I understand, but Dr. Morales has been shot at, so part of your job is to try and defend him. Yes. Okay. Your car comes to a stop, and you open the door and you get out, and you step to the left of the door. You agree? Yes. And you aim, you agree? Yes, I did. And you start firing? Yes. Okay. Now, at this point, the person that is shooting Dr. Morales is at the back of Dr. Morales' the car. Do you agree? Well, I'm, are, you, are you asking me, was he there when I started shooting? When you started shooting, the person that was you are shooting at was at the back of Dr. Morales' the car. Yes or no? No, he was not. And where would you say he was? I would say he was behind the red car. Yes. Okay. Now, you shooting at him, he's no longer by Dr. Morales' car, he's by his own car, right? Yes. And you shooting at him and you told us that you believe that he was trying to acquire you and hit that. Yes. And you're telling us that he was pointing a gun down at you and trying to aim. He did not actually fire you that you're aware of. I'm, I'm not aware at that point. Auditory exclusion that kicked in, so I could barely even hear my own rounds. Okay. So as far as you know, he did not fire you. I, I have no idea. Okay. Well, let me put it this way. You were firing him first, right? The, to, my, the, to my knowledge, I, I don't know if I... Shot the first round or not? Well, he's running back towards his car, and you stop by. You're not going to let him get a round off. Do you agree with me? Are we talking about when he was getting ready to retreat or when he first ran from Sergeant Morales' car? I'm talking about when he's leaving Sergeant Morales to going back to the red car. Okay. When he went back to the red car, he stopped in front of the red car, and he started aiming down his sights had me with his gun. Okay. And at that point, 
that's when I jumped out my car, and then that's when I engaged him with my firearm. Okay. So, let me ask you again. As far as you're aware, he never got a shot off at you. Or do not, right? I, I don't know. I never... I, I, I just don't know. But you do know that you got a shot off and hit the rest. Yes, I do know that. You know you got two, three, four shots off and hit the rest. That is correct. Okay. While he's standing by his car. That is correct. But he wasn't just standing. He was aiming his sights. Well, he was aiming his gun down at me at that point. On the date, Detective, I asked you this question. 
Where was he standing relative to Sergeant Morales' car when he first taking aim at you? Is he, in other words, by the trunk of a car? Is he by the side of a car? Do you recall? Your answer was, he would have, he would have been closer, like he would have been closer to the trunk. He would have been closer to that area of Sergeant Morales' car. Remember telling me that? Yes, I do. Now, let's go back to the positioning of a car, okay? You're looking down now at us. Would you agree with me that the red car is on the right hand side and start the morality car is on the left hand side as you're looking down there at us? Yes, it was. And about, oh, 
Oh, I don't know. Let's see, 1.55 p.m. Four or five hours after you witnessed the murder of your sergeant, you gave a statement to law enforcement. That is correct. Yeah. I'm going to object. I'm going to do a poll without the comfort. All right. I'll, I'll rephrase the question. Several hours after the killing of your witnessing, I'm witnessing the killing of your sergeant. You gave a statement to law enforcement, and you made a mistake and said that the defendant's car was to the left of Sergeant Rouse. Is that it? That is correct. I didn't get to ask you this question, but sir, are you human? Yes, I am. Clint, anything else? Nothing additional here. Okay. Thank you, officer, very much. Thank you. You all can now step into the uh, jury room and continue deliberations. Watch your step. Let's uh, resolve this issue about the penalty.